business for car number one, Mark Scaife, a three-time Bathurst champion, a three-time pole sitter. Obviously, he knows the secret to do it around here. The hard piece of this is that you actually have to process the information really quickly. So when you first get to the first corner at Hell Corner and then at the end of Mountain Straight, you've got to process how much grip you've got. So each corner that changes because you only get one lap. So as you do it, you arrive at that particular corner, turn the corner, and then you've got to try to gauge how much grip you've got for the next corner and the next one and so on. So it's in that respect, it's really hard. I mean, it's uh, one of the toughest laps of the year. Well, if anyone's going to do it, it's this man. He was knocking on the door of a 2 minute 7, can you believe it, this morning? A 2.0819 in the warm-up. The car was beautifully balanced across Turn 1. There was no protest from the front tyres. There wasn't a millimetre left on the top of the exit ripple strip. This is the braking area for Turn 2. This is where Gardner went off yesterday with a brake failure. Straight into that wall ahead there. Well, he's had the advantage of some information from his teammate Jason Bright saying the track is in good condition now. Notice that Mark was just tapping the brake to make sure he had pressure as he approached the cutting. It's a terrific shot, gives you an idea of the delicacy involved, the judgments, the decisions that are made. Flat shift, kick the throttle, uh, kick the clutch pedal. Look at this, four one hundredths of a second in it between the two Holden Racing Team Commodores. Boy, Jason Bright's laid down a tough time so far. This is going to be a hell of a lap for Mark Scape if he can knock off his teammate. This is the crucial area, isn't it? Because Bright was so clean through the top of the mountain, you'd expect Scape to be the same through the VB dipper. A little squeal of the tyres there as he came down, just juggling this act. 1,350 kilos of motor car. Not an easy job over one lap. You can see his feet are very, very busy on the pedals. Better get this exit right. Nice, fast exit. Look at that. He's found half a second on his teammate across the top. Absolute blistering pace in Sector 2. He's clearly taking aim at a 2.08 and putting himself in the position to claim yet another Bathurst pole position. He's the defending champion on this track. He's teamed with Jim Richards, a man who he's won it with before twice. 292 kilometres an hour as the Holden Racing Team number one Commodore comes through the chase. No other car was on the limiter for as long at the bottom of Conrad as this car. So Mark made a beautiful exit. Same again into the final corner. The car protesting on the hard cut at 7,500 RPM in fourth gear. He's got the times on the board. Mark Scaife goes straight to the top of the time sheets. 208, 828, a blistering lap. Pit limit button coming into the pit. Well, Mark, a 2088 was a stunning lap, but were you concerned that uh, the grip level wasn't quite right? Yeah, we definitely lost a little bit of grip then, Rusty. Uh, compared to the warmth this morning, it was a bit cooler, uh, a bit more cloud cover, and uh, I actually changed the car a little bit, made it a bit, a bit too lively at the back, but um, that's not a bad lap for the conditions. <laughs> All right, let's check how they stand now after 14 men scaife. And his co-driver, Jim Richards, 208-827 is the time to beat. Brighton Mazira second, Richards, then Kelly, then Rick Kelly. Bring you all the way down to Glenn Seaton in 15th position. Remember, Jones and Bow are next. JB behind the wheel.